What's good everybody? It's your boy Jazzy. Let's move in back and again with another YouTube tutorial. That's right everybody. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to use the command prompt for Mugen. Now what, what is a command prompt? For my people who are not computer scientists or haven't you know done coding before anything, I know some of you are wondering what, what is a command prompt? Essentially a command prompt is an interpreter that allows you to run your computer like kind of behind the scenes all right it's kind of like the back it allows you to get to like the back door things you know if, if you really know how to work it then you can do a lot okay you can really really do a lot with your computer and really unlock its full potential and essentially that's what it is that's what it is it, and it's the same thing with moving all right so as we see we have moderate here i just want to show you guys what i've learned over the week i've learned a lot over this past week man i learned how to add breathing effects Literally, literally everything i'm gonna make multiple videos tutorial videos are coming out so stay tuned for that but i just want to show this real quick because i feel like it's very very cool he's actually breathing look at him he's alive all right let's see so let's jump into a mugen real quick and essentially i'm just showing you guys how to use command prompt now the commands in order to open it is control tilde i don't know if you know uh, for how, how what, the, what the command is from uh, a mac but i do know on windows it is control tilde and when i say tilde i mean a little squiggly line under the escape key so look on your computer right now if you see let me see yeah if you see a squiggly line under the escape key hold down control and then press that and there you go when I first did this many years ago, um, well, a few years ago, I said many, uh, a few years ago, then it, I thought I thought it was a, a error. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? Did I break my movie? What's going on? And then I just left it alone. You know, I never messed with it again. But, you know, there is a purpose for it. And essentially, the first thing that I always suggest you do is to try to type in help. Even on the command prompt, like if you have a problem with something, if you don't know what to do, always type in help and press enter. And here it lists all the commands that you can do. So you can toggle the AI. L literally everything that you can do using the hotkeys. And when I say hotkeys, I mean like the, the buttons, like the, if you press control one and two, that controls the that toggles the AI for the character. If you do control all one and two, that controls the existence. If you press the space bar, it fills up everything, you know, like um all of the you know when i say hot keys that's what i mean so all of these commands right here that you see are pretty much the hot keys and then some okay so for example if you wanted to do a max power mode max power mode type that in boom so now well hold up first let me show you and if you want to close and open the command prompt just hit control tilde again that's all you have to do uh but for example i want to use this move boom you know it takes away power right you know just, just just like a normal move come over here press it again and now let me see uh boom it doesn't take any power at all as you can see oh there we go all right so and now if you want to you can toggle the ai at this point so hit control one and two and now they can go crazy so if you just want to see them have a full-on fight just to see how their moves work you know without any stipulations without any limitations then you can very well do that like right now I'm, this is a moderate ai edit that i'm working on and i'm trying to get him to go into susano right now he's not going to susano his power is maxed out so he should be transforming but he's not so this is a prime example of you know something that that the, that the command prop can be useful for because uh, you know i'm trying to figure out what's the problem you know what's going on and if i want to debug and everything then i'm able to do that now let's see let's toggle the ai so if i do toggle ai one and toggle ai two and then do round reset i can reset the round so again very powerful if you know how to use it if you know how to use command prompt it can be very powerful it can be very very useful and so let me see uh do, do, do. oh and by the way for those of you who are wondering how how is he able to excuse me how is he able to input these commands so quickly just hit the up arrow key up and down 
if you use the up and down arrow key then you're able to scroll through all of your previous moves or, or previous commands that you use sorry uh, all the previous commands that you have used you're able to scroll through those and just you know run them again so if I want to do max power mode target off I can do that so now it should be off there we go see pretty pretty easy very very easy to use uh, let's see so I know and so the, the main thing I guess that I can show I know some of you are like well you know if I can do the same thing with the hotkeys you know there, there's some things of course that um, I don't you know that that the command prompt is useful for but if I just if for, for the basic stuff why do I need to use the command prompt why do I need to learn how to use this I'll show you let's go over here let's go over here real quick so you see these commands right for my movie editors this video this this part of the video is specifically for you you know uh, for those of you who are making new moves who are trying to you know see how the uh, character uses certain certain moves or you know um, just in general trying to figure out how in the world does this work right uh, how, the, how the world does this move work the best thing let me see let's go over here real quick yeah so the best thing that the command prompt could be used for is running commands okay so for example you see all this right here right you have special six you have these commands some of you have no clue what this command is you 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 know it's down down b b c but when it comes <coughs> excuse me but when it comes to actually performing the move you're going to struggle all right i know how many times have y'all just sat here and just yeah yeah i've been there okay i've been there so you you try to go through and use the command it just doesn't work right well let me tell you there's a much easier way to do that so instead of having to go through because some some of the commands can be long you see this like you see these down here ridiculous right i'm not gonna do those you know like that insane so instead of doing that all you have to do is come over here let's clear it real quick type in clear bring up the help again so i can show you guys the commands uh boom there we go all you have to do and this is really the most powerful thing to me uh it you know um about Mugen. Uh, well, hold on, let me see. I can pause. Oh shoot, didn't know that. Okay, pause. You can take screenshots. You can do everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm finding out new stuff myself I'm, as I'm reading, which is kind of crazy. But the main thing that you can do is change state. So let me see. Change state. Boom and boom. Okay. So what you do, what you will do, type in change state type in whether you want player one or player two you know just just either one type in whether you want player one or player two to perform the move and I'm in this case I'm gonna do player one and then type in the number of the move that you want to be run so in this case everybody has a 1000 that I know of so if you want if you just want to see what this looks like you can just type it in hit enter and it will run it and guess what? If you want to run it again, press up, run it again. Press up, run it again. You can do this as many times as you want. And you know the best thing about this is? You don't have to worry about any stipulations. You don't have to worry about any triggers that are placed on the commands. So for example, if I want to pop Susano right now, 3000 I think, I can do it. I don't have to worry about the commands. I don't have to worry about the power. I don't have to worry about the health. I don't have to worry about anything. Say I want to go back from that. Say I want to do, I don't know, 2000. It's not going to work because I'm in Susano. But let me see. Uh, but I can still run the command. I think 3001. No, no, no. Okay, I'll just do it the old fashioned way. Uh, there we go. For simple commands, you can just run those. I mean, you know, with Susano, obviously, you just got to do control. You know, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Hold down an S. That's all you have to do. But you know, again, you see my power, right? Usually, I mean, the easy way just to press space and then do it. So, for moves like this, it's not difficult. Okay, for simple moves like that. But for the complex ones, all right, for the for the ones that are a little more on the complex side, and you know that you don't really want to bother with, and you don't want to come down here change this to a and then go and run it then have to come back and change it to you know wherever it was before you know instead of having to do all that just run in the command prompt that's all you have to do and so the command prompt just bypasses everything and let me see perfect susano 
as you can see requires 3000 power and he needs to be in these states you know like it's it's crazy right now you don't have to do that you don't have to worry about any of that just type it in i think one there we go okay i'm about to say i i, I could have sworn there's a way to bring him back but go susano if i'm looking at the animations or the sprites or anything in particular then i can run it easily all through the command prompt and you can do this for every single character and if the state doesn't exist for example say i type in 2000 it won't do anything you know it just sits it just sits there it just looks at you you know that's all it does and if we try to go and look for 2000 as you can see yeah 2200 but for the most part that's it it doesn't exist so since it doesn't exist it won't run which is pretty i mean pretty understandable but for the most part that is everything that i have learned <laughs> in, in the short amount of time and is again very very powerful tool that will help you when it comes to unlocking your mugen and unlocking its fullest potential it is very very nice i, I highly recommend that you guys learn it that you guys incorporate it into your daily Mugen activities or whatever. And if you are an editor, I highly recommend this as well. It's in every Mugen. I think even in the basic Mugen, like really, really basic. It should be in every Mugen. Again, all you have to do is hit Control and Tilda. Hit Control Squiggly Line, if that helps you remember it. Control Squiggly and allows you to open and close it. And type in Help. The first thing you do, type in help and then just read the commands. A lot of them are self-explanatory. Take a screenshot, toggle the player, life reset, max power mode. Again, they're all self-explanatory. So I highly suggest that you guys look into this. And lastly, I'm going to just quit and boom, there we go. And so, again, it's all an easier way to run your Mugen, unlock its fullest potential, and save a lot of time as well. So, because, you know, you see, you see these commands over here, they're, some of these are not easy. The AI will be able to run these commands very easily, but as a person, might not be able to. So, save yourself the time, save yourself the hassle, and just use the command prompt. And so that's going to conclude this video. I got more tutorials coming up in the future. So y'all, you guys stay tuned for that. And I'm going to holler at y'all on the flip side, man. If you like this video, if you have any comments, please leave or any questions, please leave them uh, down below. Like, share, subscribe and for more. And I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. I'm out of here.